In this video, I'm going to explain some tools and some techniques so that you can measure your rank on Google and Bing for your target keyword queries. Let's get started. Not going to spend a lot of time on this. Uh, read the materials and I explain why it, your rank matters in case you're in this weird doubt like my rank doesn't matter or keywords don't matter or all this nonsense that's on the blogosphere. Okay, let's talk about method number one, which is to measure your rank manually. And I'm going to use a couple examples, just sort of random examples. I'm going to use an example of Industrial Fans Direct and Commuter Cleaners. Industrial Fans Direct is a good company to use because it's not localized. It doesn't have a local angle to it. And Commuter Cleaners is a Stanford, Connecticut cleaning service. Uh, it is uh, highly local. Okay, so now let's take a look at this rank. So First of all, you gotta have to, kind of have to sort of know their keywords. So I've got some examples here. So for the industrial fan direct, it's like industrial fans, industrial blowers, explosion proof industrial fans. Everybody needs one of those. Uh, and for Stanford uh, commuter cleaners, it's wash and fold Stanford or Stanford dry cleaners or Stanford specialty laundry, et cetera. Okay, so let's measure our ranks. Let's open up Google and we'll do it on Google. You can do the same thing on Bing. It's not a different process. So let's go to Google. And now I'm signed uh, in here, but I've turned off my uh, customization, my, private, my uh, personalization. What you can do, the easiest thing to do is just go to the top there and go new incognito window. And let's go google.com. And then let's type in industrial fans. And then just count. So here's our search query, industrial fans. So you got to know your keywords. So industrial fans is the keyword query we've typed into Google. Notice the blue sign in over here. That tells me we're in incognito window. We're not getting any personalized results. Now let's go down here and let's sort of count. So we're going to ignore the ads. The ads are all nice and clearly marked. And you can see here, here's our website number one, right? So for the, the industrial fans, we are number one. Now let's take a different search, industrial blowers. And let's see how we rank. So here, Granger's number one, Cincinnati fans. So see, we don't really, we don't rank, do we? I mean, I don't have a relationship with this company, but Industrial Fans Direct doesn't rank. for So for Industrial Fans, right, we're number one. For Industrial Blowers, right, we're, we're not on the page. We're not on page one, okay? So you can manually count and then just write it down on a piece of paper or an Excel spreadsheet. Now let's take Stanford uh, Commuter Cleaners. So we could say Stanford wash and fold so here we're going to ignore the snack pack for now and you're going to see we're number three so ignore the snack pack for now we're going to come back to that we're number three so technically here we would be b a b number two in the snack pack three in organic okay let's try something else let's try stanford connecticut dry cleaners so here we're not in the snack pack do we rank at all? I don't think so. No, here we are. So we're number nine. So for Stanford, Connecticut dry cleaners, we're number nine. It's not very good, right? Now, dry cleaning, there's not a lot of money in it. That's a dying industry, so we're not that interested in it. Let's take uh, one final one. Let's take home pickup and delivery dry cleaning, Stanford, right? So this is where they bring it to you. We're number one, B in the snack pack, one organic. Right, so if there were ads, you'd ignore the ads. This is the snack pack or the local. So number two, AKA B. Local is often called ABC. So B for uh, snack pack, one for organic. And again, we're not signed in. Okay, so your first method is to manually go to Google, make sure you're signed out, manually count your rank in organic a little heads up you'll notice that there's the snack pack the local and the regular organic we're going to come back to that method number two is to measure your rank using fat rank which is a nice little chrome extension so to get that you've got to go to chrome uh, you have to have the google chrome browser and then go, to, I've got the link for you there in the materials, go to fat rank and install the plugin. Okay, so I've installed the plugin. When you install the plugin, when you install the plugin, you're gonna, I'm drawing a little arrow there, 
you're going to see this little Pokemon character at the top of your browser. Okay, so now you've got that little Pokemon. So then you go to your website, commutercleaners.com. You click on the little Pokemon guy. And then you type in your keyword phrase. So Stanford, Connecticut, wash, and fold. And you can hit enter or you can hit check. And it's going to tell us we're number four. So your procedure is you got to open your website, click on Pokemon guy. I don't know if it's a Pokemon. To me, it looks like Pokemon. Type your keyword in here, and then it will automatically tell you your rank. And you can just go through your keyword. So let's say Stanford, Connecticut special tea cleaners number one and let's take a different town let's take new canaan connecticut specialty cleaners we're number one let's take new canaan connecticut dry cleaning number 14 so that means we're page two because the first 10 on page one so for the phrase new canaan connecticut dry cleaning we're not on page one we're on page two rank four you can also get a nice little session and you can export it to CSV so you can export. So this tool is just fantastic for free. Really awesome. So you just can do that for free. Now let's take the other guy. Let's take uh, Industrial Fans Direct. So again, you've got to get it in your browser. Click on the Pokemon guy. Industrial Fans, Industrial Fans. Number one. Put in here something like explosion proof blowers out of curiosity everybody needs an explosion proof blower we're number one <laughs> this is great right let's put in here uh industrial air curtains i'm looking at their home page their air curtains number 59 see that's horrible we're number six so in that case you'd say well we're doing great for explosion proof everything but guys we got to work on industrial air curtains because we're not we're on the sixth page we're just lost in that haze there so fat rank is a great tool uh, for pulling out your rank information and then you can export so really like that that's a chrome extension that will work for three for free Okay, method number three is using the AdWords preview tool. Bing has one as well. This is really good for your local uh, uh, businesses where there's lots of little towns, like Commuter Cleaners is up there in Stanford. So there's Stanford and there's Greenwich and there's New Canaan and there's Port Chester, New York. There's all those little towns north of New York City and they all kind of blend into each other. But to Google, they're all kind of unique and different. So you need to see how do we rank across those little towns as we move from town to town or zip code from zip code. So you're gonna open up the AdWords preview tool and I have the link for you here. And if you're lucky, you don't actually have to log into AdWords. It'll just work. Sometimes it's a little persnickety, and it will require that you go into AdWords. But we're lucky. The force is with us. Okay, so you've signed in to the AdWords preview tool, and I have the link for you. You can also get to it directly in AdWords. I'll show you that in a second. You know, if you don't have an AdWords account, you can do it this way, though. Then on the left here, you're going to take your location. So let's take Stanford, Connecticut, and you can also put a zip code in here. So now it's as if I'm looking, as if I'm physically in Stanford, Connecticut. Of course, I'm out in California. So it's as if I'm in Stanford, Connecticut, and I can type in uh, wash and fold. So I can type my keyword in. I'm going to change this back to desktop. So I'm going to change this to desktop. I'm going to hit preview. So this is as if I'm sitting in my computer, and I'm going to type in wash and fold. So this is going to show us that we are number two in the snack pack so we're B in the snack pack and then let's scroll down and see where we show here so it looks like we don't rank anywhere else here we are right here so we're about number four in organic and we're um, B in the snack pack so let's let's reset the tool here it's being a little bit weird let's reset it and let's take dry cleaners And you'll see here, we don't rank in the snack pack. And I don't think, if you can't find yourself, sometimes it's easy, just go control F as in Frank, type in your domain, and you can see up here, 
that it's zero of zero. So that's a little tool. So you, you type your keyword in here, make sure your location is here in the desktop or if you wanna look at phone, then just go Control F as in Frank, Command F if you're Mac, type, type in your domain, you know, a little bit of your domain computer and you can see it's zero. I don't even have to scroll, I don't rank. Versus if I can type in wash and fold, wash and fold, and notice I'm not typing in wash and fold Stanford, I'm just typing in the short tail wash and fold, I can hit preview, and then I can hear control F as in Frank, commuter, and it's gonna, it'll highlight for us right where we are. So we're there and we're there. So we're B. Now let's change to a different city. Let's change to Greenwich. So Greenwich, Connecticut, which is just up the road there from Stanford. That's where the super rich people live in the uh, hedge funds. That's where everything is hedge funds. So let's do wash and fold, preview, and then again, control F, commuter, and you can see here, so for the phrase, wash and fold, location Greenwich, where C, A, B, C, so position three, letter C is how they do that, letter C, position three in the snack pack and local, and one, two, three. So we're three in the snack pack, and we're three in organic. Usually this would be called C as in Charlie for the snack pack, number three, organic. And you can do that. Now, for the industrial fans, people, industrial fans, it doesn't matter because it doesn't vary based on the location. So certain searches, wash and fold, are localized, and they vary based on where you are physically on our great planet. Other words, like industrial fans, are not a local search, and Google's smart enough to realize there's no local component here isn't localized. So you have to know which one you're dealing with, but this tool allows you to uh, preview that. If you want to get to it from AdWords, log into your AdWords account, Tools, Add Preview. So within AdWords, it, the tool also exists, so you can get to it within AdWords, but you actually don't have to have AdWords. Finally, I have a link here to the Bing advertising interface. Bing has a similar tool. You can also use it. I think you have to have a Bing account to be able to use their tool. So they don't have a free version. You have to have an account with Bing um, so you can set up a Bing account. Bing is maybe 15, 20% of search volume uh, compared to Google. Okay, so wrapping up this short YouTube, we know that rank matters. We're going to just sort of, you can read my opinion about why it's important to measure your rank vis-a-vis -vis your keywords. Method number one, go to Google measure your rank directly and just manually check it. Make sure you're not signed in, use incognito, uh, use a mode where there's no personalization going on. Method number two is using the fat rank plugin for Chrome, which is a really awesome free extension that will do your counting for you. Method number three is to use the AdWords preview tool. The main advantage of this is local, is it'll show you the local snack pack and you can just sit at your desk in you know, Fremont, California, and you can pretend, hey, I'm in Greenwich, Connecticut, I'm in Stanford, Connecticut, I'm in New Canaan, Connecticut, I'm in Port Chester, New York, I'm gonna type in wash and fold, wash and fold, wash and fold, and I'm gonna measure and see how my rank varies uh, based on geographies. Uh, so if local SEO is important to you, you need to use method three to look at that snack pack. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. If you have questions, put them uh, in the YouTube questions.